potentially doesn't overlap is the bit about homeowners and their position within this movement, which I think is unique. And I think as a culture, we've largely established that they are the moral compass and the moral authority within this movement. And, and, and keeping people in their homes, we have found, is got to be the primary deal. If we operate out of theory, out of uh, some larger philosophy, <clears throat> all the time, every day, all day, with no exceptions, people will lose their homes. And so, in my mind, that 10% that, that's different about Occupy Homes is keeping people safe, keeping people uh, protected. That's, that's not my description of protected, but homeowners. And not airing every aspect of their personal life that they're not comfortable airing. They have a right to do that. And we have a responsibility to keep people in their houses or do the best that we can to do that. And, and oftentimes that is in conflict with some of the core beliefs of the Occupy movement. Do I feel good about that? No. I'd like to create a world that was identical to the principles that Occupy has laid out. We haven't figured out a way to do that and keep people in their homes. Um, I think it's an ongoing discussion, but I think it's responsible to acknowledge the differences. We're out of time now. It's half past. Good. How is the group feeling? We have got about two, four. I've got <clears throat> ten questions left. The group want to continue? Yeah. Liz. I would like to say that I think that I'm done with this discussion. I think a lot of people here are. And I just think that what we should take out of this is that a lot of people feel alienated right now. And that's why this discussion was happening. So. I'm done. What time is the meeting on Saturday? I'd like to know. That's in good. my planner. 2 p.m. And where is it? Knock off. And is this on the agenda? Or no. is this something that we're going to show up hoping to talk about? Um, what do you mean by this? Well, I don't know what your, this yes. topic of the convergence oh. and yes. the yeah, rest yeah, of the questions. Sure. Could we do I don't them? know about the rest of the questions. I mean, I'm open to that, but I don't know if that's the best format to to take up people's time in a group meeting. I'm sure there's going to be other people who have some of these same questions who haven't yeah. heard them answered, so I'm sure there right, will so be a question. Mm -hmm. Temperature check of those still sitting at the table. Do you want to keep going around and let finish these questions, or do you want to stop? I have, I see some negative. So let's do this. If you want to leave, touch your nose. <laughs> <laughs> or just go. Or just, just stand go. up really slowly and start moving. <laughs> do that too. Anthony, you want to work yeah, with me to take them down so you know the questions? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is why does he have to email, why do we have to email them him these questions? I didn't ask that. No, no, I'm just, I know, but like, do you have any responsibility after he walks out of this room to answer anything? Just know that these are our concerns. Mm -hmm. I'm happy if, if it's helpful, I can stay longer, but I don't want to do that if it's not helpful. Uh, right. <laughs> I am getting nobody that wants to do that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> there was an agenda on the other side that got erased when I had the right questions, and I don't know if there was anything else beyond it, but I think yes. I think uh, upcoming events and stuff. There's something on Thursday. No. Okay. So I want to say thank you to Nick oh, and I'm Anthony. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I want Liz left. Liz not left. I want to I left the building. Just, there you go. You need to recess anyway. Yeah, I, I guess to be you clear though, I'll questions? take I'll take them back. I I don't want an unreasonable expectation that look right people are gonna wanna lay this out. I'm happy to take them back and communicate them and then it'll be the larger group's you know, decision to make whether or not they want to be accountable in that way. So can you, um, there's communication between Occupy Homes and Occupy Minneapolis, can you? Um, I can relay a message. Relay a message of your answers to the questions or whether or not they will answer the questions. Yeah, I don't think I need to answer them, I think. Several of them were Occupy Homes questions. They yeah, yeah, I'm happy to the conference. Yes. bring them back to the group okay. and that group can decide. And I didn't capture what three they were because I've been doing this. So you want to repeat them out loud so you can write them down? I already wrote them down over there. 
All right, you got it. Okay. Yep. All right. Again, I want to say thank you to you two for being here. Polly, any question? Um, one more. I want to thank the folks that also have brought their concerns to this larger group. I think that's really important, and it helps pull us all together, regardless of like the nature of whatever issues we have to face. So I want to thank them. And I'm proud of how we're handling this so far. I mean, this has been civil. This has been—I yep. don't know—I didn't see any bad emails. I, think that's I just feel like there's a lot of alienation that came from this. I know that I put my body on the line, and I don't feel like it's my, I want to anymore. Okay. Paul, I have a question. I want to say just one thing about the conference. It seems like the welcoming on Tuesday, 10 to 11.30, is when people are coming. So they won't necessarily be very many people there. And the one on Thursday is the one I'm interested in. But again, I don't know how many. And I'm wondering if where, where people from out of town talk about what they're doing. And I'm just wondering if you could think about maybe rather than parties and social hours and mixing, if there would be a way to, in one of those time slots, one of those evenings, set up a panel of the outsiders to talk to the broader, you know, in this room or some something, mm -hmm. so that people can just hear this richness. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that energizes people in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. right. I think people love to present what they're doing and talk. It's just a thought. Is that different in your mind than um, the night, the morning of the night? Mm -hmm. Well, it's very similar, to <clears throat> but I'm wondering how many people are going to be there and get there. Yeah. Uh, right. And I'm just saying that I don't think the party stuff that really does that. Yeah. Hours and yeah. 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 yeah, no, we'll take it back and see yeah. if there's room to go out. Yeah. This is completely off the subject. Just. Yeah. I don't know if I'm coming back or not, but um, I was told that these are free vegetables from Ben's Garden. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and feel free to take what you want. Yeah. They're in this box. From who? Ben. ben. I, All right. Um, I want to close ben this meeting. Anthony and Nick, once again, he did not hear me personally out loud acknowledge that I had signed that letter and I was a facilitator and I addressed that. I very much appreciate if you communicate that to him so he's clear on that because I should have done it when he was here at the um, And I, again, I, I think that everyone is trying to do what we need to do to occupy, and I think that somehow there's a learning of a communication here, and I really, again, thank Anthony for that time, and everyone that came with their questions and was well prepared for tonight. There are root beer floats over there for people that want some sugar. I'm going to eat my dinner first. And I think 